Hi guys, so I hope you all had a great Christmas and you've got lots of uh, wonderful new things to try out and play with. Um, I know I've got uh, quite a lot of things over Christmas to, uh, well, to go through and show you. And obviously one of the main things I love trying out and getting is paints um, as well. That's kind of what this hobby is all about. Uh, the making something and then the painting of it. So, without further ado, let's get into uh, what I've got and yeah, let's see more of it. <laughs> So I was kindly sent this mega paint set and this is by Green Stuff World and yeah it's their dipping inks. So a good old challenger to the uh, the contrast paints and the speed paints and well let's see how these fare up and how these get on. So it's quite a few here and definitely a nice range of colours uh, but as always just like the, uh, the contrast paints and the speed paints sometimes you can never quite tell how the paint's going to look or turn out when you actually put it on your miniature. So what I have done in the past, you'll have seen several videos of this, I've rather painted the lids or sometimes I've even 3D printed sort of um, bottle top or toppers um, and painted them. Um, but yeah, obviously not all you guys have 3D printers, so what I'm going to do with these ones is I'm going to paint the lids. Um, and this way you can see exactly how the colour is going to look on your miniature before, well, before experimenting on your miniature. So the first thing I need to really do is obviously to paint these because they are, well they are made of a shiny sort of plastic which means the, uh, the water based paints certainly wouldn't sort of go over these. So what I need to do is take off all the lids, I'm just going to give them a little clean on the inside as well as cleaning up the bottles as well, but the lids that come off aren't necessarily going to go back on the bottle they came off on. Does that make sense? Keep watching um, and you'll see, <laughs> you'll see it does kind of make sense in a weird and wacky way. As first one I'm going to do is I want to prime all these lids. So I'm going to paint them all um, in a good old matte black primer. So obviously the way I'm doing it, I'm sort of doing it as though I was slap chop painting. Um, I know with obviously these speed paints, dipping inks and all the rest of it, you can just paint them on a white primed miniature. Uh, but yeah, I like priming my miniatures in black, doing a bit of dry brushing in white. So to ensure I get the same result, yeah, that's exactly what I need to do to each and every one of these lids. And well, there's 48 of the little suckers. Um, so I've taken them all off and it's just a case of getting these primes up. So the easiest way for doing that is to, well, stick them back on some other bottles. And I've got 12 old bottles. Uh, some of these are empty, some have got a little bit left in. As you can see, these have already been used to, well, to prime up and paint my other lids. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do exactly the same thing here. So I'm going to do them in batches of, well, 12 because that's how many bottles I've got. So it means I've got to do four lots. Um, and yeah, it's just a case of getting the lids on, going away, using the good old matte black, and I use, like using the one from Colorforge, and I've been using this, I think I've been using it for almost a year now, and as I've always said, it is my preferred matte black, just because, well, as you can see, yeah, totally matte, um, no shine, no sheen, it's just perfect. Uh, a lovely base start for, well, painting any of the miniatures, really. So don't forget to stick around, guys, as I will be doing and showing how each and every one of these paints from uh, Green Stuff World looks. Uh, just to say, it does help when you are painting a miniature to be able to see exactly how a brown looks or a green, whatever colour it might be. As some of these paints, well, they, like with any of them, some work better than others. And yeah, you'll soon soon see that even with these ones. So all primed in black. Now just need a bit of dry brushing with white, and then we're ready to rock and roll. So while I am dry brushing all the lids, if you are new here, guys, and you like what I do. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell as I do produce videos, well, every week. And I've got a lot of new items to sort of show you guys. Um, yeah, over this last month I've been sent a variety of 3D printers and a few laser engravers which I'll be able to use to, well, to make some MDF terrain for, well, for Warhammer 40k, Kill Teams and all the rest. So yeah, keep an eye out for that guys because that'll all be coming out, well, mid-early Jan. There'll be lots of new videos where I'm going to sort of show and review a lot of items. As well, it's always good to see, well, exactly how items work and how they look. So I've done the dry brushing on the lids, uh, but what I want to do is I'm going to make sure the very top of every lid has got loads of white on it. Just because in this way, when I do use the dipping inks, you'll be able to see how they look on a darker area. Um, the sort of lighter white area, and then obviously the very tops of the caps is going to be, well, as you can see, a nice vibrant white. So this way I get to see all the sort of shades that these dipping inks can, uh, can do. So that's all the lids done and now it is a case of getting each and every one of these pots painting up the lid. Um, 
one thing I did find with the old green stuff world stuff paint though um, it is very again this guys this is where you know I don't know technical terms uh, it seems watery or very watery uh, um, it's very thin down <laughs> um, so yeah it does seem to go on very very wet very thin um, but as you can see I am really lathering this stuff on obviously a lot more so than if I was painting a miniature then yeah it would be a case of putting a little bit on at a time letting it dry and then maybe doing a second coat so that's definitely my first initial sort of um, feelings and thoughts about this paint is yeah it is very wet and it wasn't just the first paint um, it was all of the paints they all definitely seem very wet uh, not too sure why I've given these bottles a stir so yeah again this is the other problem guys with these kind of ones they do need a good old shake there is a little ball bearing in each one of these so they do get a good shaking first but I don't have a machine to shake them because well I'm sure most people who paint don't have a, uh, a vibrating machine of some sort to uh, to mix up the paints but um, yes yeah, so that's why I put it on nice and thick just so you can sort of see well how it's gonna dry in a moment and then finishing off with uh, well obviously what I would consider to be the most important colors that I have in any kind of paints and that's the greens because well as you may well know I love orcs so yeah having a good green for orcs or having a good variety of greens for orcs is definitely something um, yeah I appreciate and when I go through the end of this video I'm gonna go through each and every color so you can see which are my favorites um, and funny enough this is probably my favorite green this one turned out really really nice love how it looks so once all the paints have dried on the lids yeah it's a case of just screwing them back on their appropriate bottle um, and this is guys so I'm now gonna go through and show each and every one so this limelight dip is definitely my favorite for orcs I will leave timestamps down below guys as you may want to sort of skip to well a certain color you want to look at whether that's a green a red brown purple or blue um, yes yeah, so I'm gonna go through and show each one of them for a good few seconds just again so you can see how they look in their darkest areas and how they look in their well their lightest areas as you saw earlier when I was painting these up I really was putting on well a lot of paint at once but again it just shows that obviously building up the layers um, you can go from obviously the lightest sort of colors you see here to the darkest purely by yeah putting a layer on letting that dry and then put in another layer on and again as you can see from the very tops of the bottles where it was obviously a much whiter white than the rest um, yeah again you can see exactly how sort of dark the uh, the shade comes out but um, on the whole yeah all dried really well love how they look um, like most things when you're first painting them they don't look that good sometimes uh, it's not until the color actually dries that obviously you can see it's true sort of color um, and how well it's going to look on whatever miniature it might be that you uh, you eventually paint so yeah this video is just purely going to be me showing you how they look on the lids again just so you can sort of see how well or not they come out um, I will be using these in my next video where I'm painting something up but I definitely think this is the kind of thing we need to do with all our lids just again just to sort of see exactly how these paints come out um, I mean these ones don't have it but some paints do have obviously their color on the uh, the label um, but quite often the color itself isn't anything like what the color comes out uh, this may be because obviously you're getting a wrong wrong batch or maybe not shaking whatever bottle it is enough or maybe it's just a case of that paint just doesn't have what it needs to look like it does on the well on the label so yeah it's definitely worth doing this I think guys even if you're just painting the very very top part of these lids like I've done with the uh, the white on the very top um, yeah definitely to give yourselves a good indication of exactly how they are gonna look let me know in the comments guys if you have uh, used any of these green stuff world dipping inks as I'd like to sort of know your thoughts um, yeah and what you thought about them so especially as my first kind of concern I guess is the fact that these really do seem very thinned out uh, and very wet very watery again there's probably a nice technical term out there but as we all know I'm not a technical person I'm like you I'm Joe blogs sitting at a desk in my living room having fun painting miniatures uh, like the big kid that I am so yeah so these colors there's definitely gonna be some that I'll be using more than others uh, but the same could be said of the um, the army painter um, speed paints there's definitely a lot that I use a lot more of than others and there's still some that um, well other than painting the lid I've not used them to paint anything with <laughs> um, 
Oh yeah, so just to say guys, uh, let's say Green Stuff World kindly sent me these. Uh, this video isn't sponsored in any way. I'm not told what to say. And if they did pay me to uh, to do the video, it would still be my words on what I think about the uh, the paints and how they've sort of come out. Um, and that's going to be the same in any of the review videos I'm going to be doing. As I say, I've been sent quite a few items recently, so there will be quite a few reviews on well, certain items and how we can use them, how well they can be used, uh, but all to be do to do with uh, miniatures, miniature making, primarily probably Warhammer and Dungeons and Dragons, as that's where my two main sort of uh, loves lie. Um, and the great thing is, there's orcs in both, so I'm a happy chappy with whichever one I do, just because yeah, those green skins can pop up uh, and be seen in everything. So I'm sure you're probably bored of my voice by now, so I'm just going to turn up the music um, and yeah, continue showing you, well, each and every one of these uh, these paints. As I say, there will be links down below, or fingers crossed, there should be links or timestamps down below. Just if you're looking for a blue or a pink or a red, then yeah, you can sort of hit on that and go and see how it looks. Okay, enjoy the rest of the video. I'll, I'll chat a bit more near the end.
So there definitely is a nice range of colours here. Um, and yeah, let's say there's definitely already some that I'm definitely going to be using more than others. I um, mean, these light coloured ones have come out really, really well. Um, and some of the other sort of uh, paints that I've used, whether it's the contrast paints or even the speed paints, um, yeah, I've not seen them come out quite as nice as these lighter colours. So yeah, definitely be using some of those, well, in the future. And that's all the paints put in the, uh, the racks. Um, and yeah, so it really does help though, being able to see exactly how each one's going to look on my slap chop painted miniatures. As yeah, they, you're never going to make a mistake then of putting a paint on and thinking, oh no, that's come out pants. So definitely keep an eye out on the videos where I use these paints. Um, as I do have, well, obviously lots of videos coming out with printed miniatures, as well as a few collaborations coming up as well, which is always a lot of fun. So another video on the screen, guys. Give that a click, see more of what I do. Big shout out and thank you to Chaos Cards, Print Minis and The Colour Forge for helping support this channel. As well as obviously you lovely patrons, it really does mean so much to me. And if you can, like, share, subscribe, share wherever possible. That would just be awesome. Okay, guys, you'll take care. See you in the next one. Bye for now.